Efforts to reduce the spread of chronic wasting disease in Missouri continue well after the hunting season ends. MDC staff work with landowners on a voluntary basis in the immediate areas around where cases of CWD have been found. With landowner permission, we then harvest and test additional deer. This post-season targeted culling is performed from mid-January to mid-March. Because CWD is 100% fatal, has no known cure or treatment, and can be spread by infective prions in the environment, the only option for controlling the disease is to reduce localized populations of deer where CWD is found. Postseason targeted culling is the only tool currently believed to slow the spread of CWD. States like Illinois have had some success in stabilizing CWD numbers with this method. In fact, Illinois has used a sustained focalized culling program for nearly 15 years. In comparison, Wisconsin initiated a culling program early on, but discontinued the process after only a few years. Over time, the CWD prevalence in Illinois has remained relatively stable, while CWD prevalence in Wisconsin continues to grow dramatically. In some parts of southwest Wisconsin, over 50% of adult male deer test positive for CWD. MDC does not conduct targeted culling on a county-wide level. Targeted culling only occurs in locations within one to five miles of CWD detections. The exact size of the operation depends on the number of CWD detections and their distribution. The number of deer removed postseason in a given area depends on the size of the area, local deer densities, and number of participating landowners. The average number of deer taken in each winter in a single location has been approximately 150 deer, though the exact number has varied greatly from as low as 35 up to 275. There is no evidence to suggest that CWD spread will slow or burn itself out over time without intervention. Five separate research studies have demonstrated that when CWD becomes prevalent, deer populations start to decline. These declines start at a small scale, but increase as the disease spreads. Targeted culling reduces local deer densities in the immediate future, but in the long run, the deer we have will hopefully be healthier and CWD prevalence will be limited. MDC also uses targeted culling to gather more samples in locations where CWD has been found. This helps MDC staff better understand how many deer in the area may be infected and where they are. This is critical to developing effective ways to limit the spread of the disease. Postseason targeted culling accounts for about 4% of all CWD samples collected to date, but this small percentage has resulted in removing nearly half of CWD cases in Missouri. So while targeted culling may involve smaller numbers of deer, it produces large results. MDC staff always get permission from affected landowners before any targeted culling occurs. Landowners have the choice to allow or refuse targeted culling on their lands. Participating landowners either get written authorization from MDC to personally harvest deer on their land, or they give permission to trained MDC shooting teams to harvest the deer. Deer harvested through targeted culling are taken to a contracted processor, and the meat from the deer that do not test positive is returned to the landowner, or it is donated to the Share the Harvest program for local food banks and food pantries. Landowners can also opt to process their own deer at home. Deer that test positive for CWD are properly disposed of by MDC staff or meat processors. For additional information about CWD and targeted culling, visit our website.